Ishikawa diagram and its usage. The Ishikawa diagram is used during problem solution as a vivid illustration of an existing problem and factors influencing its appearance. Visualization aids with analysis and helps to find factors that need to be changed to solve the problem. For example, our problem is this lamp. It doesn't work properly. Why won't it work? Discussing the problem may be problematic and way too loud. We should ask the right questions. An easier way to do so is by using the Ishikawa diagram, also known as fishbone diagram. In the head of the fish we write the problem, which in this case is there is no light. Then, we add the bones. First just the main factors. Then, to each factor, we add all the known causes. Now we can see that some of the factors are well examined, while others are not so much. We can now examine the factors better, and receive a better picture of the problem. Based on recent years, the most statistically probable version is that the lamp is not plugged into the socket. Let's check it out. Oh dear. The lamp was indeed unplugged. The diagram can be also used for achieving specific goals, not only for problem solution. For example, how can we make it so that people won't forget to plug in their lamps? Now we shall fill out the diagram, so that at the top will be all the factors, which help to further the goal, and at the bottom, those that get in the way. As we visualize, it will become clear where we can put in some work, and which factors we won't be able to change. The Ishikawa diagram is a vivid instrument, helpful in visualizing connections between the problem and its factors, or between a cause and the ways to achieve it. In addition to the obvious things, the diagram helps dig in deeper into the, the cause and effect of the factors, and often comes up with critical problems that would not be otherwise immediately visible.